y'all it's me alex today we're in my bedroom because i have the first thrift haul of 2022 for y'all i went to savers yesterday because ever since i moved i have been wanting to check out the selection at all the thrift stores and case's dad was visiting last weekend he and i had gone to savers for some furniture for our house. We were trying to find some shelves, which we did and it was really nice. But I also wanted to see what the clothing selection was like. So yesterday, Saturday, I went to Savers and I found a bunch of stuff there. Um, Goose, why are you? Okay, he's licking something. Both of the cats are in here too. Ivy is chilling on top of some of the clothes that I got. So might have to commit a sin and move my cat. Anyway, I got some things. It was super great. I got clothes and I'm gonna show y'all. Anyway, let's get started. Goose, do you wanna stay in here? Or do you wanna leave? Sorry, I have to let the cat out. Okay, bye bud. Anyway, I found this super cute sweater. This is in presumably a size extra large. That's what it said. This actually, like there's like literally no tags aside from the savers tag in it. So I'm not 100% certain what size it's supposed to be and that also leads me to wonder like if this sweater could potentially be handmade because like I knit and I'm looking at some of the stitch work and yes I'm hating myself too for putting this on a hanger right now but I'm just trying to show y'all what it looks like but looking at some of the stitching this could maybe be homemade but I thought it was super cute and if it was homemade, I feel bad for them only selling it for like $3.50 because I know how long it would take to make something like this. Um, but it's super nice. I love star print. Part of my style journey for the year of our Lord 2022 is me kind of leaning back into the sort of style that I liked when I was in high school. So like early 2010s, like late, I graduated high school in 2013. Oh god, that's almost 10 years. Okay, this is something that I definitely would have worn in high school. So yeah, I think that this is just, it's such a fun sweater and I love it. Oh, I also got this done yesterday. It hurts so bad. Mm, hurts so much. Oh god. Then next up, speaking of 2010 style, because I was an emo, these jeans. Oh these are not nearly high rise enough for me they're very thin so i know that if i were to wear these every day like i know i would have when i was in high school they wouldn't last long with the way my thighs are now but look how cute they are these are um some skinny jeans from the brand lei which i think that's like one of the coles juniors brands it's in a size 15. Yeah, I'm pretty certain this is a junior saying I don't care. Um, but I would have worn the ever loving crap out of these. Now I'm probably going to need to get a belt for these jeans just because I got a butt and these are not high rise like what I am used to and what I would normally wear. I am making a sacrifice here. I'm not reverting into the 2000s low rise jean trend that everyone else seems to be doing. I refuse. That does not fit my size in my shape in who I am as a person but when you see a pair of pants like this for nine bucks with a 30% off coupons coupon coupon uh so technically only six bucks well what are you gonna do okay next up I found this super cute cardigan here this is from the brand time and true which I believe is a Walmart brand this one is 4.49 and i'm just gonna try it on here because y'all can't see my lower half because i'm not actually gonna wear it because i'm also wearing leopard print pants right now it's really cute if you could see it you would think it was like really awesome and really great i had a cardigan kind of like this a few years ago um but i was like i outgrew it basically so it doesn't fit but i really like this and one of my other goals for 2022 has just been kind of to up my style game in like a professional way because I have like an office job now, which I really genuinely enjoy. And I wanna be able to dress nice for it, but oftentimes dressing in like professional wear or whatever kind of makes me feel 
like I'm cosplaying as an adult instead of an actual adult. And something like this, that's like definitely put together because I feel like if you throw a cardigan over like literally anything, it's going to look like 10,000 times more put together. Like I'm wearing a t-shirt right now. Cardigan? Okay, there's a little bit more thought into that. That's great. So it's like a cardigan, but it's leopard print, so it's still fun. That's great. Next up, I found a couple of flannels. The first one is from the brand George. I went to the men's section for these two, um, but this is from the brand George. It's in a 2XL and it was $6.49. And I, I really needed to like get some more flannels in my life because Casey has all the good flannels. And I just think that that's kind of unfair that they get all of the good flannels and I like, you know, I wanted to get some in like some Alex colors, you know, so I need to probably button up the sleeves and whatever. Um, and it's going to be like super baggy, but like I said, you know, kind of leaning into what I wore when I was in high school, I would love like this with like a band t-shirt. I have a Friday the 13th t-shirt that I think would look super cute under this because it has like, it's like black with a little bit of white and red. So this one, I guess like kind of goes, but these are more like earthy warm tones rather than like the bright red. Um, and this with like a pair of skinny jeans and some docks. I wish I could zoom out a little bit further, but there's not the most room. I'm still figuring out like the angles and stuff in this room. Um, but I think that this, mm, is super cute. Sorry for scaring you, Ivy. I, I understand. I understand. I've sinned. I've scared you. I've sinned. But yeah, it's pretty, like, a little oversized, a little cozy, but it's, it's nice. I like it. And then I found this other flannel literally right by that one. This is from Old Navy. It's in a double XL, and this was $5.49, and I absolutely adore these colors, because just, like, Ugh, look at that. I love purple. And it's like a little bit lighter than what I would normally choose to wear near my face because I kind of try and stick to only like dark colors up top because I feel like that just looks better. I feel like this is super nice. Yeah, definitely going to wear it open because I feel like flannels, if I like button them up, I look like a property brother and I feel like like those guys are lovely, but it's not meant for me. That's not a journey that I want to have. But like, once again, open, band t-shirt, skinny jeans, Doc Martens. It's a look. Moving on. And then this last top I found I can probably pair with that last flannel pretty well. It's just this cute little, well, it's from Old Navy. And the flannel is from Old Navy. And ooh, look at that color combination. What a color combination. Um, but I just, I like purple and I want it on me. And this tank top lost its label. It is a tank top and it looks good and it's in a size large. So it's a little bit more boxy, not quite as fitted as some of the other things that I have, but I have a lot of fitted tops. So I think that something like this would be a nice little change of pace. Perhaps my favorite thing that I found in this whole thrift haul, I wore this to work this morning. I found a scarf for $2 there's ostriches on it. <laughs> if this isn't like the greatest scarf you've ever seen in your life, like I'm not a huge scarf person. I own a few and I think they look good, but I like beyond like shirt, pants, shoes, maybe a jacket. I rarely accessorize well, but with this ostrich scarf, you better believe it goes with everything. Ostriches. Bam. This is the greatest scarf I've ever found in my entire life. Like, uh, look at those beautiful, beautiful flightless birds. Are they flightless? Ostriches are flightless. I should know this. I grew up near an ostrich farm. Goose is making a disturbance. You disturb me? You get on camera, boy. Hello. So speaking of someone who is very fashionable and has amazing fashion sense, look at this boy in his tuxedo. He's so annoyed with me. But isn't he cute America and the rest of the world? This will be the thumbnail, buddy. Yeah, you're gonna be in the thumbnail. Oh, the existential dread is growing. Mwah. Okay. So anyway, that's it for the clothes that I got. I'm just going to show you y'all. I went to the book section um, and I bought like eight books. 
all of them except for one are for case because I found some sci-fi fantasy books that they liked and had but some of our books kind of got damaged when we moved so we've been trying to find things to replace them and all of that so I'm just gonna quickly show y'all the books that I got. So here's the pile also known as my upper body workout. The Da Vinci Code, The Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan, book four of Percy Jackson and the Olympian. This one is the one for me. Maximum Ride the Angel Experiment by James Patterson. I love the Maximum Ride series or at least like the first five or six. The rest are kind of crap but that's like I feel like most book series are like that. That was my book series when I was in high school. For Case, uh, their favorite author of all time, Terry Goodkind. Faith of the Fallen, one of the Sword of Truth series. Goose, stop knocking. My tripod? You're better than this. Come on now, buddy. Do you wanna get back on camera, buddy? Insurgent by Veronica Roth. There was another Divergent book there, but it wasn't like in such good quality. And like, I feel like for books that you're gonna own, you should always like try and buy them like in good condition, you know? Terry Goodkind, Soul of the Fire, a Sword of Truth novel. Terry Goodkind's Debt of Bones. Goose, stop clawing at the carpet. Do you want to pay our security deposit back when the lease is up? You don't have a proof of income. And then finally, Blood of the Fold by guess who? Terry Goodkind. Okay, that is what I got at Savers. Also books for um, buy for get the fifth free. So that was really nice and we'll 100% be going back there. Anyway, I have to go to a knit night or I want to go to a knit night. That's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm hoping to do some more thrift hauls, you know, and I'll have a better setup for this once I kind of, you know, uh, know what I'm doing. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And I will see y'all in my next one. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye. Say goodbye, Goosey Goo. Say goodbye. Papa. Why do you put up with me? I love you so much.